my Carol with a beautiful frontside flip, switch back 180, tray flip to a back feeble, no, sorry, backsmith. <laughs> Can you believe I've been skateboarding for like 16 years at this point? Well, either way, today we're playing Skate 2, and I think we'll be checking out that spot that Mike Carroll skated there in this video we're watching right now. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Another Skate 2 video and to another episode of NS and Chill, the series where we do things a little more raw here on the channel. So I'm just going to choose a skater to be i do want to be one of the pros who were we in the last skate one video i can't even remember but i don't think we were chris cole so how about we choose chris cole and hopefully i can start out at slappies oh we got it right here perfect and i don't even remember the loading times but we do have these awesome loading videos so chris cole with the switch frontside smith grind that is kind of odd. I am gonna just see if I can still remember how to play the game. I clearly can't. We got a tray flip, nolly tray. That's a good way to start my uh, EA skate videos. I feel like just making sure I still got some of those tricks in the sticks. And the good thing about skate two is that we can get off a board and we can move stuff around and basically. We just want to backtrack here, so this is where you go through in the tutorial, I believe. Get a little uh, bigger foot. Oh yeah, we got quite... Wait a minute. So this is where we come from. Oh yeah, there's the secret mini ramp over here. Just kick the pellet. Ah, oh, this is sick. There's Cole with the, uh, with the bigger heels today. We do that and then pop in. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, the next skate game to see if they've improved on the transition skating. I was trying a blunt there a second ago, but I ended up just like airing out the place. But uh, let's see if we can clear this just by this speed. Yep, all right, very nice. And uh, I'm going to place another session marker. Looks like, okay, you could get over there, but... Yeah, not really much of a spot we're missing here. And now I think we're getting down to it. Or at least this is like the last part of the open area of the tutorial. So uh, if we keep it going, we could do a little barrel flip. I want to see how the big flips look in this game. Oh, I wanted to see a, a fagy. Not, not a fagy bigger flip. <laughs> Come on, get up, Chris. All right, we... Okay, this way it's just going to be true nolly. I wanted to see it in true switch. Nope, I am accidentally uh, bigger flipping, but let's just place a session marker. We still got some pretty awesome spots right here. Oh, I was trying to get a realistic kick with backsmith. Maybe I shouldn't think about the, the realistic aspect too much in this video. We got a little alleyway here. Hold up. Is there a better way to get into this spot than to start at slap? Okay, there is. So at the other end of that pool area, you can basically just skate into the uh, the start area of the game. Would have been nice to know. I think we're gonna crouch under that. How do you uh, coffin in this game? Okay, so both triggers and A and X. I think it was both triggers and then B in Skate One. No, could could you do it in Skate One? Oh man, I can't remember. But I think... I think this over here is as far as it goes. I mean, there are some props you can pull out. Oh, is this also part of the world? Or what? I actually don't think so. But this is the, uh, the very start of the game. I don't know if you guys remember it. You just start over here. And then you kind of skate through this. And it tells you to try to do this and try to do that. I don't know why it sounded kind of kind of southern uh, American there, but these are basically just drops. I mean, you could do some slappy ride-ons. Loading dock. What do we have here? I mean, you could skate the ledge right there. Reminds me a bit of uh, a spot in Barcelona. It's also like 
I mean, it's on ledge, but it has this like downhill part next to it. So depending on where you get off the ledge, it's going to be a bigger drop. I haven't seen that in uh, many other places, but basically you'd be going down the downhill slope a little bit. And then, you know, onto the grind. So I think you want to get... Hmm... Okay, I was trying a low pop backsmith, but all right, we, we're not focusing too much on the realistic part today. Oh, let's get that one clean. Kickflip back blunt. <laughs> uh, Kickflip to sugar cane, I guess. No, hurricane. Okay, see, that one, that would be lame because we're popping from, like, where the earth is uh, flat with the ledge. Okay. I mean, we went back to regular. I was just trying to pop out to the side. But that is one way to do it. We can keep the line going. And then I think this rail over here is the one that uh, Carol was skating in the video. But it actually seems pretty tough to skate. I mean, we got a slight uphill to help us get up there. But otherwise, I don't know. We'll see. So is, is that going to be enough speed? Wow, is that the one he's skating? Is that... There isn't one further down. No, this is the one. So, I'm, I'm guessing the backsmith was actually... Because maybe that is one of the only tricks you can do on it. Yeah, see, I tweaked all the way up there. Normally, that would have been a nose grind. But since we couldn't get into that, it's going to be a smith grind. Oh, man, I got to figure out. Yeah, look at that. Like, our front truck can't make it on there. I guess we could willy grind it or we could smith grind it. That's the tricks we can do on this. And front boards, maybe a lip slide as well. That is actually... It's actually looking pretty good. Oh yeah, I got all of these things thanks to uh, P1RC666 for... Uh, letting me have the replay edit so they, uh, <laughs> they retract it. Apparently it's a bit broken in Skate 2. They, they fixed it mostly for uh, Skate 3. But what if we just got like a straight on angle here get up a little bit it's probably gonna look a bit weird either way but uh, this is the angle we're going for yeah that does look sick though that's a pretty sick spot i want to see what else we can do on it because uh, my carol got me pretty hyped up in the beginning there so at least get a little front board tap like that that's probably the only thing i could maybe do on this in real life that's another smith grind I'm trying to get my back truck completely over there for the lip slide. But it is not easy, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, I keep smith grinding. God damn it. I gotta I gotta be a bit away from the rail, I feel like. Yeah, kinda like that. I mean we got it to Fagy. I don't know if that's gonna That's gonna satisfy me completely. That sounded kinda weird. You know, me and my English. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not, and sometimes it just sounds crazy. We gotta be a bit away from the rail again, god damn it. And then turn a bit into it, but the problem with that was that, you know, I was going to Fagy after that. But I just, I don't want to do that. That was too early. Like, we, we probably need to tap it at this point, at the end. Oh man! Okay, I'm giving the lip slide, like, two more. I'm not gonna say one more, because after that one, I probably want to try it one more time. But if I don't do it here, it's fine. <sighs> we'll turn it into a line. Uh, a terrible line. And I, c I couldn't even clear the gap, so we'll try the lip slide one more time. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. That's actually a really tough spot to skate. I do like that spot though. I wasn't supposed to be able to skate it up because that makes clearing it like that less impressive. But what else could we do here? 
Okay, if we do a front nose, I basically can't tweak into it. Yeah, I just... It's the perfect, like, max height for grinds. So, that's gonna work really sick. I guess we could do a nollie to tail on it. Nollie to tail, that would be sick. Uh, nollie tail slide bounce. Guys, I'm sorry that I'm so intrigued with this spot, but... It is kind of sick, right? Was that it? Oh, the one and a half push? We don't want that. So two pushes, and then instantly setting up. Ah, oh, I thought that was our cue to get it. This one's not easy. I think a nolly lip slide would be way easier. Oh, come on. Okay, maybe I gotta go a bit more, like, parallel with it. I would probably do that in real life. Even though my nolly tail slides in real life are awful. So, we will take that. No. You know what? I'm gonna try to redo it, but we'll go to Fagy. Uh, I don't know what that was. Keep it going, keep it going. Stay in switch. Oh no, I'm not gonna clear the gap with this amount of speed. Uh, we did though. And let's get up here. Oh, that would have been a sick line. Either way, I'm happy with that. What else should we try? The, um... The Willy Grind. I actually learned that recently in real life. Just to be able to say I learned it. Only front side though. But I do kind of want to post a video about that on my skateboarding channel. But this actually happens a lot when you try that trick. You just slide into a front board. It is a hard trick to like pinch probably. Oh wow. We got it though. So, uh, I mean, I'm gonna try a bit more coming from the other side here. Because I just wondered if that was possible. Uh, you could at least do that. And then, could we actually, like, clear this little gap? Okay, so we gotta go slow and we gotta, like, low pop to get onto something here. We'll heel flip up. Small little push. Cancel out the one and a half. Alright, we got it. Did I frontside flip or backside flip? I already forgot, but I wanted to backside flip over that. Okay, we will keep skating this spot until I get a line where we complete this tiny gap. Which we're gonna backside flip. And we're gonna switch front heel. And then we can frontside flip in here. Alright, there we go. New area. So, what do we have here? I think I skated like this roof roof thingy up there. I made a video about that like years ago. But it is so much fun to be back skating this spot. Oh, that's sick. That's like a little Euro gap. And then a small ledge right there. Oh, a little pole. All right, blunt stall on the pole. God damn, Chris. Hmm. I don't think you can grind this, but if you could, that would be a really, really cool grind. This one you could... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of in the way of what I want to do right now, so I'm just going to place it over here. Otherwise, in a second, I think we could place it somewhere cool and try to skate. Should we just go true switch for this? You actually can slide it. Oh, man. I mean, it would probably be a little bit ridiculous to get grind on it, but we're gonna try. So, I did a bunch of smith grinds, willies, front nose, basically everything we could on the other spot. But if we could front crook this... I mean, there's gonna be no pinch since it's the, uh, <laughs> the old skate games. It's not like skate or Excel or session where you can actually like see you're putting pressure on on either toe or the heel. So we did the front crook. How about a front nose grind? Okay, that was the Smith. We already got one of those. And that other thing. There we go. How about a Chris Cole trick then? Ah, oh, let's get that one. We could do it with a 270 out as well. 
because that was his end during Cold War. But we, yeah, okay, now we landed the regular one, kind of sketchy. Then we will be, then we will be trying the 270 out as well. There we go, man. Oh, that felt awesome. Little backside flip. Okay, I'm doing a lot of the same tricks I'm noticing, but... Yeah, there's some tricks that just feel better than others. What do we have here? Could place this... Dumpster, like, down there, right? Let's just uh, push it a bit further. Okay, I ruined it. Or, or can we save it? Come on. Like that! Yeah, we got a spot. And look at Chris Cole running. That is not how he's running in real life. That is for sure. Okay, okay. Easy now. Alright, now it's actually positioned good. So we'll get a hard flip nose mani. What if I did the nolly and would heal manual glitch? Then a heal flip nose mani. Nah, couldn't really tell. Oh, if we do it out, so if you do a nolly inward heal to a manual and then a kickflip out, he's gonna kind of bone it. Couldn't really tell though. Uh, advanced free cam. Ooh. Just. I, I like the zoom angles. I know you can go even further, but I'm not gonna try like breaking the skate to replay it at this point. It uh, tends to be very glitchy. But this right here should be fine. So I'm guessing this is gonna be the nully and would heal manual, and then hopefully a bone kicks about. I mean, a little bit? Maybe it does. Ah, okay, you kind of see it right there, but not that much out of a manual. Is there other things you could do up here? You could skate this. I think we actually held that 5 0 all the way. And then down here we have more of these kind of spots. Oh, that was really clean though. And then here you can kind of get in the back of that. Mm, yeah. Let's just get back up. Because I did have another plan. I think this is going to be one of the last things of the video. But uh, if we just got over here, we'll switch bigger flip. I should also like kick the back nose blunt something. But we did have the rail over here. I was wondering what way to skate it, either from the mellow bank, which we're on now, or coming from the like steeper bank over there. But I think it's gonna look better if we land in the steeper bank. I mean, it depends, you know, you could just low pop. But I just think it would be cooler like this. Yeah, I really wanted to get a, a kickflip back smith for this video, so... At least we got that one now. Oh, that is how you skate that gap. Alright. So we'll be getting like a front pop. What was that? Feeble or crook? I couldn't tell for the camera angle. And then I wanna, I wanna clear that gap. What if we just did a front pop board slide? Or front big spin board slide? Then I'm not gonna go too fast here. Oh! Oh my god, that is so sick. If I were to film that in a line, I probably couldn't. I would probably just film the uh, this, this single trick right here. Should we actually try to film something? That's gonna be one of the last things we do in this episode. We're gonna edit. We're gonna find the advanced free cam. And then I gotta be really careful with the keyframes. I mean, P1 RCE he warned me a bit about it. Like, it, it isn't functioning that good in this game. But hopefully, if I don't jump back and forth between them, it should be fine. And I have to place them. I can't like place the start and the end and then go in the middle. I think that would mess things up. But we just want Chris on like the left side. 
around here we'd want them right there i hate that it's still like a fisheye effect and then there see i could try to make the zoom glitch now to get closer to chris but potentially i could just mess up every single keyframe so we're not gonna risk it oh yeah now i did the thing i'm supposed to do that otherwise the uh, keyframes can break wait a minute are we we are kind of getting the rail there ah this might break it but we'll try actually you know what i'm gonna i'm just i'm gonna just go for it at this point we're actually gonna try to get the zoom glitch and i'm probably gonna break the game completely okay we only went to about 100 millimeters but that's fine all right let's see let's see if i broke it if we can even tell that it has a front big spin board slide there i mean we could Ah, the one and a half push. Yeah, I would have, I would have cut that out either way. So, just the kick the back tail there. That was super gnarly. That's basically what I wanted. And then, to end the video, we are gonna get a realistic kick flip back nose blunt. I wish I could have my controller on here. I guess if I played on emulator, I could. But uh, we are playing on the original Xbox 360. Oh yeah, Chris, raise the arms. Maybe first try now that I'm a little warmed up. Uh, kick the back lip. I mean, I could go a bit slower for that. But I just really want, like... I don't think that looked realistic. Not like what I had in mind. That one may be a bit more. I don't know. It's still Escape 2, so there ain't no hardcore mode. So we are gonna get like sucked onto the rail either way. But look at how little of it I'm actually sliding. I mean, that is that is fine though. Let's see if we can go like lower. We'll try to go like 15 maybe. Okay, that's like that's 10. Let's delete that one. Probably zoomed in too much on this. Uh, that's 20, 17, normally I'm going for like 14, yeah we can go for that, let's go for 14 or 15, and then if we reposition this one we're not gonna get any like zooming in or out, but I do want, I do want Chris up there, and then we're probably not gonna be able to see him from my webcam, but uh, I could, I could move that. Actually, ah, oh man, we're just gonna film it. I wanted to get like a tripod angle, but fine. We're gonna film it. We're gonna see if I'm, if I'm gonna break the game at this point. So far, the keyframe is still where I placed it. Get that one down there. Landing right here. Oh my god, not that close. Why is that one so sensitive, but the right stick is so slow? Yeah, this is gonna be awful, but it's been a while since I've filmed in the uh, skate series, so hopefully this is all right. Let's check it out. Yeah, it could have been worse. Could have been worse. Oh, let me just delete all these. Alright, there we go. Choose this one, and then I'm just gonna place like a long lens angle. We're gonna place it at 75, like this. That, that doesn't look good. That does not look good. You can see, like, there's too much magnetization on it, if that makes any sense. I'm, I'm such a nerd right now. We're not even playing the game. Just checking out the replay. It's a, it looked way better from that angle. But can you follow me? Like, it's a kickflip back lip until this point, And then I press up on the uh, board. And then it just magically goes to a back nose blunt. Still, though, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, I, I do love the look of this game. 
I think that was it for the video. I do have another spot in Skate 2 I want to check out very soon where I think we actually are also starting at Slappies. So uh, let me know if you want to see that. It's a spot I haven't seen many people skate. I haven't really skated myself that much. But until the next video, I just hope you guys will have it good. Peace out.